Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here, obviously. My name is Michael, welcome, hi. Make sure to click subscribe and also the bell to be notified whenever I post because YouTube is weird. Today's video, I'm 18 and I'm finally coming clean. I was recently having a conversation with somebody and I just realized that I'm not totally clean about a lot of things. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. My phone has stars on them and these stars are actually brighter than my future, so. This is the truth about my name. My name isn't actually Michael Kingman. Uh, a lot of people get that really confused, especially with friends I have. My real name is Michael, but my last name is not Kingman. It is actually in Fonte, which I'll kind of put on the screen right here. I kind of live like a double life almost. A lot of people say that, question me about it. Michael Kingman is kind of like this like very, very confident, honest person online. And then me in the world, that's like a little shrimp that doesn't do anything. <laughs> My truth about mental health, and I have talked about this in the past with depression, with my anxiety, with problems I've had, with relationships and whatnot. I'm not clinically depressed or I don't have clinically anxiety or I don't take medicine for those things. I'm not clinically depressed, but I do have severe depression from times to times. I've always been told I need to go and get it clinically. Diagnosed. I never want to blame my past or my childhood for the person I am today because that's no excuse. Like, I care too way too much about what people think and I just I just do and I don't know exactly why. I, I honestly am alone a big portion of my life. I do have people that I know when I talk to on a on a daily basis but I'm not one of those people to really have friends and go out a lot. It kind of all really fell apart after I left high school and switched to a different school or an online school and I'm very very socially awkward. I'm really antisocial so it's really hard for me to make friends in a social setting. Truth about relationships and boys. <laughs> I feel like this topic is probably like the most relatable or whatever. There's something I need to really open with and I do have a huge problem with lying to guys. I really don't understand why, but I feel like as if like I'm not good enough and I never will be good enough for somebody. So sometimes I will lie and it's not good. I've been working incredibly hard on it. Sometimes I'll catch myself and I'll be like, okay, no, that's a lie. In this situation, I really just got out of. I've learned that lying doesn't solve all problems and it should never be a thing in a relationship. If a guy's gonna like me, they're gonna like me for who I am instead of a lie that I made up to make myself seem so. There are people who are in love, but they're not together, but then there are people who are together but they're not in love. I've been on plenty of dates where I have gone totally wrong. I've been in like a relationship that dragged me through two to three months of drama and complete hell. I've been with plenty of guys and with plenty of guys that like me for looks and for my social media. Honestly have been trying so hard on my lying. Dressing that you have an issue instead of trying to cover it up and saying that you don't have that issue is far more better. I will definitely overcome this habit. Also boys don't like me because I'm problematic. Like, let's be honest. No, I gotta stop that. I gotta stop fishing for compliments too. Like, I gotta stop. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This was a lot more on a personal level video, but I really just wanted to make it. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, make sure to give it a thumbs up. All my social media and all the links and all that will be down in the description. And I truthfully want to start making YouTube videos again. I love every single one of you, and I guess I will leave you guys to it. It is officially almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I gotta go to bed, so bye.